Hello everybody. So um, I found this amazing illustration online. So I thought, why don't I put it on the channel and, and explain it? It's a brilliant illustration that shows the cranial nerves numbers um, in a, that actually make up a face that shows each cranial nerve and its uh, associated structure in the, in the face. So now looking at this structure, we can see that number one is the um, olfactory nerve, uh, which has to do with the nose and the smell, as you can see illustrated by number one, which is the nose in this figure, and it's sensory. Number two is the optic sensory nerve has to do with the eyes, and that's why you can see it as the eye of the figure, number two. Optic nerve number three is the oculomotor nerve, which is a motor nerve has to do with the eye. And it actually goes all the way, all the, uh, that affect all the eye muscles except for uh, four, except for the muscle that is supplied by uh, cranial nerve number four and six. Now, cr cranial nerve number um, uh, four is um, a trochlear. And trochlear is a motor nerve that actually goes all the way to the superior oblique muscle. Number five is the trigeminal sensory nerve. Number five, as you can see it in this figure, goes all the way in the face and down to the um, um, mastication muscles. The trigeminal nerve number five is sensory and motor at the same time. Sensory at the face, sinuses, teeth and motor at the muscles of mastication, which they use for chewing. Uh, cranial nerve number six uh, is a motor nerve, and it actually um, affects the external rictus muscle, and that's why it's lateral. It's the lateral rictus muscle of the eye. Cranial nerve number seven is, as you can see, makes the face of the figure, which means the facial nerve. And the facial nerve is... Um, has to do, it's a motor nerve and it actually affects the muscles of the face. Uh, cranial nerve number eight, as you can see here, represent the ears of the figure and it's the vestibulocochlear sensory nerve and it affects the inner ear. Um, now, cranial nerve number nine, as you can see, it's the, 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 the um, posterior part of the tongue um, affects the, uh, it's, uh, it's called the um, glossopharyngeal motor nerve and it has to do with the pharyngeal musculatures and the sensory part of it is the posterior part of the tongue, tonsils and pharynx. Cranial nerve number 10 is the uh, famous vagus nerve which is also both motor and sensory represented by 10 here um, uh, the motor part has to do with the heart, lungs, bronchi, and gastrointestinal tract. While the sensory part of this uh, nerve uh, has to do with the heart, lungs, bronchi, trachea, larynx, pharynx, gastrointestinal tract, and external ear. Now, uh, cranial nerve number 11, as you can see here, uh, represented in this figure, is a motor nerve, and it, it affects the sternocleidomastoid and the trapezius muscle, which is in this location in um, in the body, most of like the shoulder and the lower shoulder, lower shoulder. Uh, cranial nerve number twelve um, is the hypoglossal nerve, and it's a motor nerve, and it affects the muscle of the tongue. I hope you guys like this illustration. Maybe you can try draw it by yourself, and uh, see how we can um, associate each cranial nerve with a structure in the face. I thought it was brilliant, and I wanted to illustrate it in the channel. Have a good day. Take care. Bye.